Alright, so what I have here are two ships, um, both of them function pretty much using gravity. One's pretty much a gimmick, the other one's actually full functionality as far as pitch and yaw is concerned. Uh, but on this one right here, I was just playing around trying to make some, uh, some engines or some gravity drives that are actually uh, jet jettisonable. I'm not sure if that's a word, but I used it. And pretty much what we have, uh, we have two gravity drives on either side, both with uh, one large uh, generator, uh, nine artificial masses, and nine gravity generators. Um, we've got we've got one one gravity generator on the left and one on the right side, and those are actually used to propel the uh, engines from. They're actually disconnected from the ship. So what we're going to do right now? Head spin up the engines and show what happens. Now, currently, for some reason, I must have missed something, and uh, the mass isn't perfectly lined out. So, when these gravity drives are spun up, it actually pulls the ship a little bit. So, at this point, uh, we're up to speed 1057. I'm going to kill the dampers, dampeners. Here, we're going to actually go ahead and jettison the engines. Peel off smoothly like that. Turn the dampers back on just to slow down. Now this is an amusing thing where they both have their own generators and they're both able to still keep their gravitational fields going. They actually get caught up in each other's fields and just spin around wildly. So if you flew into like a group of ships and you drop those off, it would cause a little bit of havoc. Now on to the next ship I'm going to show here. Or rather the next proof of concept. Quick load this up. And pretty much what it does, it uses a, a single gravity generator uh, to affect both pitch and yaw of a ship while using inertial dampers to keep the thing from just going in one direction so you can actually turn properly. So here you've got the gravity gener generator You've got the mass that's uh, responsible for yaw, and you have the two masses that are responsible for pitch. What I'm going to do here... Now it's completely done through a rotor, so as far as, uh, as, far as the uh, pitch, I mean, that can be easily corrected. But the uh, yaw, it's a little bit difficult because you, uh, you have to judge it and get it perfectly lined back up. Let's see what I've made here in a second. And hop into the control seat. Flip to the. There we go. So we've got we've got our groups down here. One's a gyro. I just added, so can't do this right here. Just show that's actually gravity generators working. Uh, then we've got a gravity generator on and off. Uh, the rotors uh, increase in D speed and decrease in velocity, and then the three masses. Go ahead, turn on mass one, which is both forward acceleration as well as yaw. Go ahead and turn on that. Just give it one moment, because I have to break away the gravity that's actually being generated by the ship behind me. I'm going to turn off the dampers for a moment, just so we can get up at speed a little bit faster. So we've got this going on, and now as far... I'm going to show pitching first, just because that's a lot easier. So all you've got to do is toggle the top or bottom masses, and toggle the bottom one. Gravity pushes down, which propels us upward. And then turn our dampers back on, our thrusters. Kill the bottom one, and we level out. And then we can activate the top one. Gravity is pulling it downward, which pushes us down, or pulls us down in this case. Now that's all good and well, and here's what I'm talking about as far as yaw. So we go ahead, just the four to turn up the acceleration, and the three to kill it, and we've got we've got nice yaw. And you can keep on doing this until your heart's content, whatever. We can decrease it or invert it, which will turn us the other direction. You can just kill it completely out to maintain the turn. I was saying about trying to get it straight is there's no 
Unless I've missed something, there's no way to snap back to starting position. So you sort of got to judge it like that. To try to get that perfect straight thrust going on. But yeah, those are uh, the two gravity oriented ships or proof of concepts I was tinkering around with. Um, this one is actually completely came up with by accident when I discovered that the drivers on the other ship kept on wanting to pretty much turn in on the cells and implode on the ship and I had to figure out how to play with the gravity settings. I'd actually never played with generators at that point. And then out of that I came up with this concept. Oh, I hope y'all enjoyed watching. I will keep trying to figure out new stuff, or in this case, I mean, someone may have already done it, but yeah, here's a video of it anyway.